Before we get into looking at binomial expansion, I first want to introduce you to factorials, the factorial function. So if you've never met it before, it's written as some number factorial, and n is an integer here. Okay, well, n is a whole number. Okay, so I shouldn't say integer because n um, won't be negative um, and can go from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, um, now for those of you interested, um, it can be extended um, to look into decimals. Uh, so you can have um, 1.5 factorial uh, and it's extended using something called the gamma function. Um, and, but that's uh, a bit beyond the scope of this specification. Uh, it's something that you could potentially meet degree level. Um, so, what does it do? Well, the idea uh, really stems from looking at combinations and uh, permutations and arrangements. So, if I said um, that there were five people running in a race and I wanted to know, well, if they all had an equal chance of winning, how many different finishing orders could there be? Well, first place could go to any of those five people. So there are five possibilities of first place. And once first place has been taken, there are four runners left who could potentially take second place. And so we would multiply five by four. So there's currently 20 possibilities. So we would be left with three runners left for third place, two runners left for fourth place, and one runner left for last place. And so actually we have five times four times three times two times one different ways, uh, different running orders and finishing orders for this race. And we write this as five factorial. Now you should find a factorial button on your calculator. On the uh, class whiz, um, there is the factorial button. Um, there, I've lost it. There it is, uh, above the x minus x to the minus 1 button. So where your x to the minus 1 button is, just above that is the x factorial. So you've got to go shift and then press that x to the minus 1 button, you'll get your factorial button. So 5, then shift factorial, is equal to 120. So there are 120 different finishing orders for the race. So we could have... Uh, as I said, zero was included. Zero factorial, one factorial, two factorial, three factorial, four, five. Okay, so five we know is five times four times three times two times one. Four factorials, four times three times two times one. Three factorial, three times two times one. Two factorials, two times one. And one factorial is just one. So actual values of these is 2, 6, and so multiplying by 3, multiplying by 4 is 24, multiplying by 5 is 120. So what does that make 0 factorial? Well, um, this is one of those things where um, mathematicians would go, well, wouldn't it be nice if 0 factorial was 1? And so that is uh, the decision that was made. And I really, you know, if you link it back to arrangements, then you can think of it as um, the number of ways that zero items could be picked. And, well, it could be, there's only one way of doing that, okay? So that's kind of like the worded way of doing it. And obviously you can go up to whatever value you like. Okay, so 100 factorial would be 100 times 99 times 98 times dot, 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 all the way down to 2 times 1. Okay, and obviously your calculator can really go only so far with these because they increase very, very quickly. 
So this is what a factorial is, and it links in with where we're going next, where we're going to introduce Pascal's triangle and the NCR formula.